YouTube. How is everybody today? Hopefully you're a little bit warmer than I am right now. It's not that bad. <laughs> About the uh, high 40s. Uh, I'm out today. I guess a lot of y'all know I retired my trail guide hat last year. But uh, I'm out today with some friends that uh, I met back when I was doing tours from Ohio, Kevin and Becky and their son Dean. And uh, they were coming down. Wanted to know if I wanted to go riding with them. Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I ain't got to get out much. Go riding lately. There's nothing to do but just cruise. You know, just get out. Go from town to town. Well, that's what we're out doing today. We are just out on the trails at Phil McCoy Trail System. And we are just going from, well, from town to town. It's kind of out roaming. That we're going this way. We're not taking roads. We're taking trails. Little bit on the cool side. Like I said, it's high 40s today. Not the warmest day, but it's the day you got. It's the day you got, ain't it? Now, I usually never really did do much as far as videoing the trail tours and stuff. up there Castle Rock this one here we've got a steep downhill not far out through here all them red buds just all over the place little purple flowers purple trees all over the place got many green ones but we got a lot of purple ones there they are mountain laurel See all that stuff? The little flowers on it, the little puffballs. Mountain laurel starting to bloom. And you got, you know, redwood, dogwood, all that stuff blooming too. But the mountain laurel has a really sweet smell to it. So everything out here just smells super sweet. It smells like you could eat the air. That yes, that's that's it right there. Oh my god. That's the grave. There's a, a grave under the stairs. Oh, wow. He's a he's a chafing. I think he was a sheriff if I'm not mistaken at one point. See the see the metal yeah. plate from the uh right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it there a um was it there a grave here and then they built the steps? I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it how it worked out, yeah. And, and you, I mean, there's really no, I mean, I guess. Oh, here, wait, 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 wait. Say hi, everybody. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Becky, <laughs> Kevin, and Dean. Uh, yeah, get everybody. Guys, thi uh, this is YouTube, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Hi, YouTube. Becky, you're 40,000 oh. people looking. Oh, great, with my helmet on. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, 40,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have fun with it, am I right? <laughs> now this is where Ellison is buried, and a few others as well. But we came up the road. We gotta back back down, by the way. There's nowhere to turn. We have to back back down. You hadn't been to this one, have you? Good. Now you can see there's all kinds of hat fields. It's a Hatfield graveyard. Yeah. Right here. Trying to rain a little bit again, isn't it? Yeah. I was 20 minutes. What's up? Couple new ones right there, isn't there? Yeah, it is. Can you imagine carrying one up? 
That's how it's done though. Yeah. Right there. That's Ellison right there. Oh, sorry. Guess I could hold my camera level. Might be <laughs> nice. But right there. And there's some more right up here. Trail 57, in case you get the side-by-sides. Mm -hmm. Trail 57, it might be 59. Uh, anyway, goes right behind the graveyard. Oh. But there's Blair's right back here. That's my mom's family right there. Okay, I remember you saying that. Yeah, that's mom's family right there. No, three people. Uh-huh. Explain that. Ellison, his wife, their kid. Oh, okay. Now, over here's Ephraim. Right here's Ephraim and Nancy right there, Nancy oh Vance. My God. Right beside of them. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> That's famous graves there, too. Sacred. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Yeah. Very much. Beginnings of the feud. Tell you something else. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but uh, you've been to Devil Ants' grave. You've seen the, the marble statue and all that. Mm -hmm. You go over to Pikeville, look at Randall McCoy's. And Randall's is just, you know, a carved rock. And, you know, one of those added later, you know. But it's just, you know, the difference between the two, you know. Six. How much money, you know. Devil Ants had some big money. You know, Italian marble statues. Versus and, a rock. Versus a rock, exactly, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But there's all kinds of, there's a couple civil wars and stuff like that. All kinds of great, cool graves up here. Now, right here, do you notice this one? Look here. Look. Read that one right there. Can you read that? Well, I don't know if you can read it from here or not, but. Niece of the Devil Ants Hatfield. I yep. love that. <laughs> Watch where you're walking, buddy. Watch you step behind you there, Dean. Watch that hole. I'm gonna have to get me one of them cleans, Dean. So me and you can so we can play with them, buddy. <laughs> it works pretty good for him, don't it? <laughs> Here come some machines too, some side-by-sides heading down the trail. A lot of trail riders will come up through here looking for this, just skate right by it, not even see it. So there's not a side or anything up there? That... Nope, there's a bench, but that's it. Just a little bench, like a wooden, you know, a plank right. with two poles. That's the only indication from up there. I mean, if you're over this side enough and look over the hill, but if you're in the middle of the trail on the other side, you won't even see it. You drive right by it. That's amazing. We're leaving the Ellison Hatfield Cemetery. And like I've mentioned before in our videos, his death is the one that didn't cause the feud, but kicked it into high gear for sure. But I thought y'all would like the I don't know if y'all noticed the train tracks. Let me point that out to them. I don't know if they've seen it. Just thought I'd show you. I don't know if you noticed it or not. The old rail bed. The old rail track, oh, railroad yeah. tracks. Went right up through there. You can see the old railroad ties with the rail oh, yeah. with the tracks went right up through there. I remember on your video you yeah. said that. I, I thought I'd show that to you real quick. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. Decades and decades ago. Long, long, long time ago. I, I, I was trying to watch all the videos of stuff that I knew I was going to do just to, yeah. to remember to Get in your head. You know? <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you for that out. I figured y'all might like the creek crossing. We gotta cross the creek right down here. Now you could go across the bridge, but where's the fun in that, right? Who wants to go across the bridge? Well, you can go through the creek. That's crazy. Why would you do that? You wouldn't, would you? <laughs> There's 
the old bridge and the creek. How you doing? Yeah, Pretty dog. <laughs> This here's uh, the Hatfield graveyard just outside of Mate One. I brought y'all up here before for videos. Uh, I know I hadn't brought Kevin up here to see this. This is Sid Hatfield's grave. Uh, and there's Mayor Testerman uh, were murdered in the uh, Mate One massacre. And Ed Chambers is right down there, right between them, that tall one. Uh, he was killed when Sid was killed. It's wild, isn't it? Yes. But they both they both even got the plaque too. Both of them have the same plaque. And if you like your take home wages and you like your benefits and you like your vacation. Yeah. This is where you yeah, work. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Before them it was before them it was you work for me, I'm in charge, I'll give you what I want to give you, and then I'm gonna steal it back. And then after after them it's a whole new world. It sure is. That's a fresh one there. There's a new one. But they're, yeah, they're still using this one. They're still using this graveyard. A lot of them. They're not really, you know. One we'll be going to tomorrow is, isn't used anymore. It's off way up a holler. All off to itself. Yep. Kentucky Infantry. Sure enough. But there's a bunch of those here too. There's a bunch of those. There's something about those military stones. You know? I know, I know. Something unique about them. A little bit more reverent or something. I'm not really sure how it works, but there's something. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, it's day two. We are down at Trailblazers Outfitters Butch around here somewhere. But uh, we're getting ready to head out on day two. And today we are heading for Uncle Jim's grave. Jim Vance himself. Uh, <laughs> I, I said that I wouldn't put Becky on the spot, so. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we'll just watch her put these guys I'm just happy the sunshine is today, I'll tell you. Really? And Dean's going to be riding with me today for a while, so it's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hopefully he won't do anything too crazy, and he'll... Uh, yeah. Listen to Leo. he would be a good yeah. boy. I mean, I Safety first. You look good, pops, buddy. But... You ready? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for strapping that down. Oh, yeah. I went ahead and got that while you was doing something else. Thank you. Some... Alright, we'll see y'all in a little while. We're getting ready to head out here and we'll see y'all in a little while. We made it. Way up in a holler called Thacker. And that's Dewey there. Y'all may probably remember him from when we found Jim Vance's grave. Dewey's a uh, real good guy. I mentioned he's pretty well Baptist. He's much more likely to offer me lunch than he is to start shooting. And I heard turkey. I heard turkey gobbling. Y'all hear that turkey? I heard turkey up there. <laughs> but we are heading. Yeah. But we are heading back up that way. Y'all remember from the video, Dewey gave me directions. Look for the two big trees. You remember that one? That's that's this one. But uh, we've got about a 300 yard hike something like that give or take but i already stopped and you know checked with dewey make sure it was okay he said yeah that's fine y'all go right ahead are you ready to go hiking i am <laughs> i appreciate it dewey <laughs> yeah if you're, if you're watching dewey thank you buddy we appreciate you <laughs> you ready to go for a hike buddy yeah let's do it all right let's go hiking we'll see y'all in a minute Okay, come on over here. Socks came down. Yeah. 
Here, come on up here. Yeah, there's a old railroad tie right there. And we got a little climb. It's up. This goes up and turns. Uh, that's where we're at. Okay. And go up all the way to the end. And it is the middle of nowhere. It's the middle of nowhere. That's exactly right. Don't forget your walking stick, Ding. Want your stick? That's a nice one, too. Look at that. What do you say? Thank you. That's a really nice one. I like it. That helps support you and give you stability, huh? <laughs> Drink. <laughs> we ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, there's one right there. I thought I'd stop. We were coming up. Jim's grave's right up there. I didn't notice this one. There's a baby's grave right here. You can't read it. The name's completely gone. But I just thought I'd get that one since we didn't get it before. I didn't see it. Walked right by it. Doing good, guys? Got an eye, Leo. Yeah, I just happened to see the fence around it. Yeah, just happened to see the fence. I see Jim Stone from here. There it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there's his new stone, too. Yeah. That was the original marker stone. This one was added later. And then they just put that one up um, last year. I need to go. I'm Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath too. <laughs> Imagine what your dad's saying. <laughs> hey, hang on right there, Dean. Would you? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we gotta have the camera too. <laughs> Thank you. Send, send me that one, would you? <sighs> we found it, guys. It's up on a mountain. Yeah, y'all want one of y'all together? Yes, please. Hang on, I got gotcha. you. Here, hold that for me, would you? Yep. He's still running, too. All right. You ready? Big smile, guys. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> I always thought this was really pretty back in here. The slope, just something about the, the hills, the way they're, you know, just all yeah. rolly. I saw a bear when I was up here too, right right down there when I was up here the other time. Yeah, come on back this way. I'll hold your stick for you. But yeah, you can see a bunch of them. I mean, there's a grave right there and the sunken spots. Oh yeah. You can see the sunken spots really good now. You can just stay right in here. There you go. It's time for the clean. It is. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Yep. I'm gonna have to get me one of them soon. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave you a souvenir. How's that sound? Dean would rather give you a million dollars than it's clean. <laughs> yeah, he would, wouldn't he? In case anybody's curious, that's called a what is it? Stim? Yeah, S T I M. Uh huh. It's stimming. It's um basically the way autistic people calm themselves. Um, some people will clap. Some people will flap their arms. He has always just had a cloth and yeah. kind of twirls it around, and yeah. it's the way they call themselves. Yeah. If he likes it, I'm happy with it. Exactly. <laughs> Anything to keep him calm and to calm him. Yeah. 
And he likes that thing, don't he? He likes his clean. He'll snap it. He'll just take it and snap it and just watch it go. He gets it wet. Y'all good parents. Y'all really are. Thank you. Well, she already knew that, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's 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 nice to hear it. It's nice to reaffirm. You think you're doing the right thing. You hope you're doing the right thing. And yeah, when you yeah. hear it from the outside, it like I I've told I've told a million friends that you know this is not easy, and I could not do it with the people in in my corner, and you're one of them. So thank you. Well, huh? Gladly, my friend. Gladly. Gladly. Dad's getting a picture. Houdini had an easier <laughs> job than you did. An incredible job finding this. Uh, it was, it was, this was a tough one. Yeah. Huh? Dean, your turn to smile. Yeah, big smile, Dean. Big smile. <laughs> <That's a great> <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready, guys? Obviously, you weren't there back then. But why do you think they would bury him in West Virginia? Family, just family, their graveyards, you know, fam wherever the family cemeteries, okay, that, makes sense. that kind of thing. But this was really, when we first found this, this was really overgrown, you know, real bad. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we put the video up of it, what we did find, and came back over to check on it a few months later. And it Let's was, fall. yeah, be careful. It had been all cleaned up. Sure. Someone had cleaned it up. It's good. But somewhere, nobody knows where, but somewhere, I mean literally nobody knows where, mm -hmm. but somewhere in this graveyard was at the one and only Asa Harmon McCoy in here somewhere. Um, but arguably, we'll just go, we'll go that way. Arguably the first death of the feud, right here, somewhere in this graveyard someplace but nobody it's been lost nobody knows where he's at wow okay uh i just wanted to take a second to you know to mention something uh kevin and becky and dean they're gone we you know end of the day you know we done parted ways and they're headed back to their uh airbnb and headed back for central Ohio in the morning, about a seven hour drive. But I just wanted to take a second to point something out. Um, I don't usually, you know, when I take people out trail riding, typically I don't, you know, I've only videoed once or twice doing that sort of thing. But I thought with considering the situation, you know, Kevin and Dean and Becky, that it would be it would probably be a good idea to do it, and I'll tell you why. Good reason. I'm sure that right now, there are probably a few people out there who have autistic children. You know, maybe some of you just recently found out, maybe some of them are older, you know, 20s, Dean, you know, he's 20, just turned 20. Um, there will be certain challenges okay let's just put that out there up front there there's going to be things that you're going to have to deal with and there's going to be problems but it's all in the way you look at it you know you can you can see your glass is half empty you can see your glass is half full but something that kevin pointed out earlier you know we were talking about that glass half full thing and he said that he's he's pointed out to several people you know, in similar situations, that although you may seem, you may see this glass as being half full right now, there will come days where that glass is half full, as opposed to being half empty. You know, Dean, Dean has a wonderful life, which Dean, Dean has really, really wonderful parents, and they have a wonderful child, you know, Dean's, He's really cool. He's just, he's really friendly, really timid, you know. He's just har totally harmless, you know. And it's just a great big ball of innocence. You know what I'm saying? 
and that doesn't change you know he'll be the same dean you know for most of his life he'll be the same way and you know he'll get to a, a higher level of functionality you know with with experience with age with you know uh, i've seen this before you know that sort of thing but there's a lot of good you know there's a whole lot of good and kevin even mentioned something he said that um if he could you know change dean you know just i don't know wave a magic wand or something and change dean and make him normal that he would have to give it a lot of thought and you know that kind of that kind of struck me you know just i i get it i get it i i totally get it you know they are a happy very happy family and i can see i can see that you know that why he would consider or why we, he would need to weigh options and stuff I, 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 get, I do it's hard to explain it's really hard to put into words but I, I'm just glad that I met the family and got to spend a little bit of time with them and when I first met Dean I did a little bit of you know a little bit of research you know a little bit of reading into autism and you know it's I, I get it that it's it's a bad situation but you can make it a better situation. Anyway, uh, I guess I better get on out of here and get on back home. And like I said, I just wanted to, I wanted to share this with you guys. I wanted y'all to see this. But uh, anyway, y'all have a, a really good day. Thank you for watching. And God bless. Leo out. See y'all later.